Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing tests on these wax coated wood chips that I made as fire starters. Had a bunch of people ask me if these can be used for boiling water. Uh, I've done three tests. One with regular candle wax, red candle wax. One with soy wax. And yesterday I did a test with uh, beeswax on the aspen chips. They all come up pretty sooty. The stove I used was the wet fire stove. You can see it's still messy. I didn't get to clean it out. Uh, a lot of wax in there. I think this is just a little bit too short. Uh, makes the pots very sooty. So I had a couple of people. <laughs> Cole, Cole Craven. Hope I said that right. Cole Craven. Uh, want me to try another one that I made. The hockey puck he calls it. The puck shaped. This is the same as these, except instead of putting them in petty four cups, I used the a part of a can, the smooth can, made them in there. So it's it's about two inches across, three quarter inches tall. I'll put the centimeters down below. This weighs 1.39 ounces or 39.3 grams. So he asked, and several others asked, if I would try a test with this. Again, I thought I made these as fire starters, but anything that burns should be able to heat up water. I'm not going to use the wet fire stove. Definitely be too short for this thing. So what I'm going to use in this case is the Vargo titanium hexagon wood stove that I got from a good friend of mine. You've seen me do some tests on this before. This is one of those that's pretty light, folds out real easy, like so. Now the only problem that I have with it is this last uh, catch here that's supposed to hold it together. Doesn't in my mind. So I use a pin that I just stick in there like so. Of course, when you do it for the camera, it won't go in. There we go. Just like that. That way the thing will stay together. So I'm going to use this today using my hockey puck. Now the thing with this is there's no, not a pin just fell out, there's no holes on the side. All the air holes are on the bottom. So I'm going to have to center this thing. One problem I'm going to see right off the top is wax is going to start dripping through this. So this is what I want to try today. This with two cups of water. So let me set up my cameras and stuff outside, get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for the test. Okay, I have my water prepped, 60 degrees, hopefully it'll stay like that. Here's the hockey puck, let's try lighting it. Okay, see there it goes. Get it started with some of the other. Just trying to get it going around the uh, puck a little bit first, instead of it just being in the one corner. Come on. Okay. So let's stick this in right in the middle of the stove. Temperature still at 60 degrees. Two cups of water, 60 degrees. The temperature outside is 76 and it's something like 73. Wait a minute. 74 percent humidity. So it's pretty humid. So let's see where this goes. Okay we are now three minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 105 degrees. I think as you can see it's really getting sooty. Flames going all over. That's what it looks like inside. So it's quite a little burner, but it's very sooty. I don't know if I said this earlier, but the distance between the top of the puck to the bottom of the pot is about two and three quarter inches or about seven centimeters from the top of the puck up to the bottom of the pot. So 
let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211. Come on. 212 in 7 minutes 49 seconds. Let me just write that. 7 minutes 49 seconds. Okay, so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 7 minutes 49 seconds. As you can see, the flames are getting quite carried away. As I thought might happen, the wax is melting and falling away too. I still say these, well, let me move that, I still say this doesn't make a good hot water heater. Great for starting a fire, wood fire, because if we had this on wood, the wax that's melting out of this puck would be melting into the wood and then burning there. Right now it looks like a lot of it is melting off into the aluminum paper that I have underneath the uh, Vargo stove. So let's see how long this goes till burnout. Okay, I'm going to call it now at, say, at 11.40. The temperature has dropped down. Oops, had to move it out of the way of the flames. The temperature has dropped down to 210. So it may be burning yet, but it's not burning enough to keep the water boiling. So what did I say? 11.40. Okay, so that gives you an idea. That I, I still say that hockey puck is good for starting a fire if you need it. It's a bit big for that. Maybe for a bonfire or something. But the other problem is that this, in this situation, the wax is falling off and not being burned. So this would burn a little bit longer if the uh, wax was con contained. Maybe in something like a buddy burner. But... <coughs> I think if you're going to use the titanium stove, can you see that? Yeah. If you're going to use the titanium stove for something like this, you're better off using the Trangia or some other alcohol burner. <laughs> Boy, that pot is sooty. Okay, so I hope that helps those that ask for this. I don't think it's a good idea, but if it's an emergency, I needed some hot sterilized water, that would do it. So I think, sorry, I keep pooping up the name. I thank Cole Craven for his comment. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.